Hey everyone, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. As always, it's a pleasure having you guys here today. And I'm excited because patrons decided to do an ocean scene, which actually I don't have much practice in painting, but I'm excited because I'm gonna be learning as well. So uh, I have an idea, but bear with me because I'm learning as well, so we could learn together. So let's see what we could create and get to work and uh, review some of the materials needed for today. So let's start with brushes. So we obviously need the blending brush set and uh, we need some of these cheap artist loft brushes and they come in packs so you can't get them individually. So just buy a pack, they sell them at Michael's or you can get them on Amazon for like uh, $8, so pretty cheap. And then uh, the double zero round detail brush for the details. And that's really all you need for today for the brushes. Now for paints, we're gonna do some, use something different today. Since we're painting an ocean scene, it's usually like this turquoise color and this it has a shade of green. You could use the ultramarine blue and I know I have been sharing uh, on my pre uh, previous tutorials a lot that about the ultramarine blue that I use that a lot and uh, it's, it, it's a great color. But today we're gonna use a new color which I'm excited to use. It's uh, this turquoise, turquoise phthalo right here. That's what we're gonna use today for the ocean. And then we're gonna use the phthalo blue green shade color for the blue. We need the cadmium yellow, titanium white, and carbon black. Now you obviously need a palette of some sort, a palette knife to mix your paint. You need a jar of water. I use a yogurt jar. You can use any jar you want to put your brushes inside so that they won't dry when you're not using them. And you need some paper towels or a nice uh, thin cloth where you can uh, wipe, out, wipe your uh, brushes. I've got a 12 by 16 inch canvas here and you can have any size you'd like, but that's what I'm using today. And since we're doing the ocean scene, I'm gonna just go ahead and paint the sky as well, and then we're gonna focus on the ocean scene. So let's get to it. So here's what I have. I have titanium white, and it's like a thumb, and then just a touch of yellow, and then uh, same thing here, titanium white, a touch of yellow, and naphtho, uh, phthalo blue, Sorry, uh, yeah, yeah, phthalo blue green shade. I always pronounce it uh, differently. So that's the same thing, phthalo blue green shade and yellow and a little bit of uh, titanium white, so less than these two. So we're gonna mix this real quick and obviously it's gonna give us a light uh, yellow, very light yellow right there. And then we're gonna mix these, our second color, See what color it gives me. It's gonna give me this light turquoise, almost like a turquoise color. And finally, our last color will be the blue. Right there, so we got the three shades. We're gonna go ahead and put those down here and uh, blend it in just to get the sky done. So we're gonna grab our number eight fluffy brush. We're gonna dab it in our water, not all the way, just halfway through, and then squeeze it out. Uh, you don't want the brush too wet, just so it could be damp. We're gonna start with our lightest color and grab our lightest color and then Let's say our horizon is gonna be right here. So we're just gonna go ahead and cover it. And if it's too dry, what I do is like sometimes uh, it's too dry, it drags too much. So I just dab it lightly on the tips of my uh, fluffy brush. And then I smooth it out, grab some more paint and just smooth it out like this. And it works really nicely. So grab that and then let's just smooth it out and then use our second shade. Okay, our second shade. And go all the way. We're gonna cover it all the way. 
and then our final shade and as it dries dab it in the water jar a little bit and then grab some more of this final color and it's kind of dry here so I'm gonna grab a little bit more of my dab it a little more like I showed you and do the same thing and just put it in I'm dabbing it and then just cover the canvas with your last color and just move it back and forth it should run smoothly but not too wet okay not too wet right there now I'm gonna uh, clean this brush I'm gonna go over the sink you can use your your jar and just kind of uh, like on my previous video I showed you how to clean the fluffy brushes to go ahead and do the second coat but I'm gonna use the sink right now real quick to rinse it off and then use the paper towel to kind of dry it out and it'll be damp. And then I'm gonna softly show you how I blend everything nicely in. So here it is, I um, just cleaned my brush and then here's the paper towel. And then I'm just slightly swirling it on my paper towel like I would when I, uh, you know, blend and do the same thing, but on my paper towel and just, you know, dry it out lightly. Don't press too hard. And we got it right there. And so what I'm going to do is start from the bottom and lightly um, swirl it. So lightly blend everything nicely. Like I'm barely touching the canvas. Okay, I'm starting from the bottom. And I'm lightly blending these colors in. You can see it blends nicely. Don't press hard at all. Just slightly use the swirl effect and, and work your way upwards. You can drag the paint a little bit upwards. You can see what I'm doing. And you know, it takes practice to to um, it doesn't sometimes I have to blend over and over and have to you know go over many times sometimes it works nicely and you don't need to go over it again and sometimes you just need to go over it many times and I still get that struggle today so just practice you know it's it's it doesn't come in one day it takes some time to to get there but you will you will it's once you get the system down and uh, uh, have enough practice you'll it'll be easy it'll get easier and easier and uh, and you can it you know it's it becomes super fun because then you just see uh, have an idea what to paint and you already know how to do it you already know the steps and uh, the process when you see when you have an idea to make your vision come to life so that's the fun part and uh, yeah so I blend all the way to the top and then from the top, I'm gonna work downwards. So now that I did that, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing, clean my brush. I don't wanna drag too much of this color down to my lighter color. It'll really neutralize everything, so I don't want that. So I'm gonna go ahead and you know, clean the brush and do the same, going from the top, just slightly going down. So I dried my brush out with a paper towel and I'm gonna start from the top and lightly swirl it and this this shouldn't take that long it's already blend very nicely but just for the fine you know final blend just go over uh, the areas that you see that need to be blend better and just slightly touch it remember i'm barely touching the canvas i'm barely touching it There you go. Since I'm using a used canvas, you could see through some of these areas like right here, right? And so um, I'm gonna add a little bit of just titanium white 
uh, for me, you don't have to do this because your canvas is clean, but if you're repainting and you see some some of the, you know, uh, the areas that it's see-through, just make sure to um, use thicker paint, more paint, I mean. And that's why I like golden acrylics because you usually it covers it nicely. Um, and it doesn't, it, because it, the paint is thick. So that's that's the cool thing about golden acrylics. So I'm just using titanium white and my number two fluffy brush. And I dabbed the brush in the water so it could be a little damp, but I'm just using titanium white and I'm gonna lay it down right here. That's gonna be my lightest color. And I'm gonna just lay down this titanium white and blend everything nicely. And just, you don't have to put it everywhere, but just softly, as you go up, softly fade it out. And then once you have it fade out, you go ahead and grab your fluffy brush again and, um, and then just swirl it from the bottom, work your way up, and that blends everything nicely. That's why it's important to have those two brushes for the little th parts like that. Um, it works really nice. When you just wanna blend a little part, that number two brush works super well. So if you wanna check out where I get these, uh, check out the link down below uh, on the description and uh, you can see these blending brush sets. Um, available for sale. And also if you use, I, I for, totally forgot to mention this, but if you use code uh, Felix, that's F-E-L-I-K-S 18, then you'll get a 10% discount on these brushes, which is a really good deal. You won't find a better deal anywhere else. I guarantee you that. I've, uh, you know, I've been painting for over 13 years. And when I discovered this uh, years ago, I, uh, I, they're expensive, they're not that cheap. And, uh, but they last, they last a while, so it's totally worth um, buying them. So make sure, uh, yeah, so you won't find a better deal than uh, what uh, this store that, that down below the link is offering. So check it out, use the code, and I uh, hope uh, you'll enjoy and have fun with these. So yeah, so here it is, I blend everything nicely. You can see the smooth transition from white to this turquoise dark blue. All right, and then, you know, I can go over as much as I want to blend everything nicely. And, uh, but since we're not focusing too much on the sky, um, let's go ahead and add some ocean and water. So I, what I did was I added this blue, this, uh, I always, I'm going, always gonna pronounce this wrong, but phthalo blue green shade. That's what it is right here. And a little bit of touch of titanium white. Uh, and then uh, this blue again, and this turquoise color, this new color that we're gonna experiment today. Yellow, titanium white, you can see it, just a touch of those, more of this turquoise color. And then turquoise color, and then titanium white, and uh, a little bit of more cadmium yellow. And on the side here, I got uh, more titanium white, and not, not that much of this blue that we have here. And so let's mix our first shade. This one will be pretty dark blue. So um, with a hint of, you know, it's just gonna turn a little bit lighter. We want it to look a little bit lighter. So that's good right there, right there. And in our second shade should be lighter and greener. So as you can see, it's still quite dark. So I'm gonna add more uh, white on here and I'm gonna add uh, um, a little bit of more yellow here because it's a little too dark. I want it to be lighter. Same thing here. So I'm gonna add, and I, I want this a little bit more greener. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a little bit more white and yellow to these. These shades would work. Even if I were to use these shades, it would work. But um, I just want the transitions to be a little bit more, uh, you know, lighter. You could see the, I don't want it to be too smooth, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna just add a little bit of those colors. 
here you have it. So let's mix this. Right there, that's much better. And you know, it depends on the day and time. The ocean color could be totally different. It could be, um, you know, you can have orange and yellow in your ocean. You can, you can have it more uh, darker, almost like gray looking color. Um, but it depends on the day and time of the, the sunset and, and the sun hitting it. So we got these three shades and now we're gonna mix this final color here. Should give us a light blue color. So I'm gonna add a little bit more white onto this color and we'll be good to go. All right, so by now the background should be pretty dry and here we have our four shades. We're gonna start with the darkest and we're gonna just dab it in the water and I'm using this Artist Loft half an inch brush. Um, if you don't have the Artist Loft brush, you, your, any half an inch brush flat should, should work. So I'm gonna dab it in the water and grab some of this blue and then I'm gonna draw my horizon where the water will be. So I'm gonna draw it right about there. And so I'm just gonna go straight across, right about there, okay? Straight across. Right there, dab it in my way water and just add it make a straight line it doesn't have to be a perfect straight line just eyeball it and dry it out and so now I'm just gonna add this a little bit more right about here all right and then Just cover this part. And then I'm gonna grab my second shade and just blend it in right next to it. Right next to it. Right about there. And then I'm gonna grab, you know, I mixed, if you mixed a little too much, that's okay. I, I mixed a little too much for me, but that's okay. So now I'm gonna grab my third color and I'm gonna, you don't need to clean your brush and dab it in the water jar just so it could be a little damp and just blend the third color in this green color, this greenish, this greenish color. And this is our base coat, so remember that. Our, uh, it's not, our ocean's not finished, this is just a base coat, so please keep that in mind. If you're watching, you have to wait till the end because these are all necessary steps to creating an ocean scene, or actually any any uh when you paint any scene uh layers is very necessary to your paintings so you can't get it down in one tr take i mean it, you can who am i to say that right all right so so we got our third shade right here and then so now, this will be interesting. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna clean my brush. So now I'm gonna grab a little bit of this carbon blue and touch of titanium white, and I'm just gonna grab the leftover of this uh, color. Um, if you don't have leftovers, you, you, um, you know how to mix it. And then I'm gonna also add a little bit actually of Actually, that's a good color right there. So it's like almost like a gray color. It's not too dark, but it's like a gray color, you see? 
So now, what we're gonna do is first grab this blue, right? And um, we're gonna create some, uh, some of the waves, okay? And let's add a base coat. So this will be like a base coat. How about one wave will be up here, you know, maybe it cuts and then another wave. Maybe it kind of goes at an angle. So maybe it, it comes out and it goes like this, right? So let's draw that out with this color, this blue color. And just draw it out like that. And then, so let's, let's add, this one will be our bigger wave actually. So we're gonna add, and it also, is, it's gonna curve and it's gonna go down this way. So actually what I'm gonna do is, um, I like the uh, idea of having it not just straight. So I'm gonna grab this green again and just build it up right here, cover this area. So I'm gonna tilt it, make a wave kind of going sideways in a way. We don't want it to be too perfect. So just put a little bit more green there and we grab this blue and I'm gonna first draw my where I want the wave to be right I'm gonna, right about there right there and now I'm gonna grab this darker color and I'm gonna create this is like this is the area where the the wave comes comes at you so I'm gonna create shapes here so first I'm gonna create the shadows. It's, it'll be like a, a wave that is coming at you live. And about there. So I'm drawing the shape of the wave first. So then, then it goes like this and then maybe there's a wave here and then, and then it goes down, and then it goes like this. How about that? How about like this? So there, so we created our shades. You could see that, and then we're gonna create a few more waves lightly. Barely touching it with this gray color. Actually, I'm gonna go over this blue with this gray color as well, lightly. We're just creating shades right now. And you'll see why I'm doing this as we add more and more layers. You'll see. Okay, now, I'm gonna clean my brush. Now I'm gonna add the rest of the water here. And this is where we grab our lightest color. Okay, this is where the lightest color will be, right where this wave hits. And so um, maybe it kind of blends in with this um, dark color, right? It goes in like that. So make sure you do that. And I'm working wet, so I'm constantly dabbing my brush in the, um, in the water jar. And I'm pulling it up like this, lightly. Just blend that in nicely. Then we're gonna go here and just blend these colors first. And this is just, again, this is just the base. So please keep that in mind that if you're confused what I'm doing, just wait. Um, I'm just adding the base and adding my shadows and where I want the waves to be.
So what I did was I outlined in my shape. This is the wave. So I'm gonna add white here and make it look, you know, like it's like f falling on you, right? Um, so just, just keep that in mind. Um, that it's important to create shapes first and then go over in detail. I always do that and I recommend you doing as well that whatever thing you draw, you want to make sure you, you know, just draw it out first, draw out your shape and then go over it and add more layers and details on it. So yeah, so I'm gonna create another ripple right about here, a little small one though, it's not gonna be a big one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, you know, just lightly create random ripples like that you know maybe it goes away in here like this how about that right there you know that'll be our ending part of the ripple and I'm gonna still and I use this gray I'm still gonna use this blue color and just go over you know don't cover the ripples that you just drew just go over and cover the rest of the areas that you missed with this blue color So grab this shade and just cover this area and go ahead and do the same thing here. Go up to this point and, and again, there's probably different techniques and ways to draw, uh, not probably, there is actually uh, different ways to draw oceans and uh, ripples and all that stuff. and. This is my first ocean scene painting, so I am learning as well as we are painting this together. But um, there are different ways, and again, ocean, you can, that's, it's a fun subject to paint, and you can, you, it's, it's, I'm actually interested in doing more of the ocean scenes now, because I think it's, um, it's so fun. It's like, you can't, like, I made this ripple up, and I made this wave wave up and you can't get it wrong because it's always different, you know? So that's the fun part. So, um, yeah. Anyway, so here goes. So I covered the canvas right here. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to start creating. Let me actually add a little bit of more of this gray color in a background. I want to add another wave to make it not look too, too plain here. So I'm gonna just add another wave here, a little darker, and let it kind of go out like this and have it here. There you go. And then the background lightly with water, add a few little ones. And you can use your detail brush for this. Um, whatever brush you want for the background ripples. I usually use my detail brush, but for right now, I'm just gonna lightly go over it with my flat half an inch brush, artist slough brush. Just add the little ones in the background. Right about there. And then maybe some here. Little ones. Blend this in with the green. And I'm just slightly going like this back and forth. So we created some of the shapes of uh, this darker color. Now we're gonna go and let's cover this big Let's start with this big one because we never finished covering this side. So let's let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this green shade right here that we have, okay? And I'm gonna actually add white to it because I want it to be a little lighter than this um, color in the back. And a little more green actually because I think like, you know, when, when the wave is coming at you, it's supposed to be pretty light and, and uh, thin because the sun is hitting it 
and so you want it lighter here than these colors in the back. So I just added a little bit of titanium white and yellow, and I'm just going to mix that together. And we'll go ahead and There you go. It's just a little lighter. And grab that. Right there. And right here, and I'm just going to add right here where I want the the wave to kind of, you know, my tip of the wave. I'm just going to bring it down like this with the green color. And maybe here you just lightly right here go over it like right there and just bring it down you can see it's starting to shape up a little it's all about layers and then draw it and end it right there Okay, bring it down. And now I'm going to grab titanium white. Let's just grab titanium white, nothing else, nothing too complicated. And clean out our brush and use titanium white. And let's lightly blend this in with this. green right here that we mixed and as I as it goes down here you can just uh, you know blend these areas in doesn't have to be perfect yet this is our first uh, coat so just keep that in mind here as well so maybe even go over and add now I'm always dabbing my brush in the water so that my uh, paint won't dry so quick people ask me how do you keep the the paint from not drying I um, sometimes I prefer for it to dry fast to put my second coat layer onto you know my canvas uh, other times I just I keep every time I move my brush I'm actually grabbing me either more paint and um, grabbing some water dabbing my brush in the water jar so it can blend in nicely and run smooth on my canvas so draw the white here like this and You know, draw it where you're, where you want the waves, how you want the waves to look at, uh, look like. Okay. Maybe here it just goes like this. Maybe it actually. Let's have a, add it right there. Some of these, maybe they go up super high. So how about like that? How about we do that? And then here, we're gonna do the same thing. I wanna make sure, you know, you have that nice transition of the, between the green and the white. So grab more paint. And 
I'm lightly pressing, not pressing hard at all. I'm going to add more green here. This green color and blend it in with the white. Okay, now we're going to continue with our white and remember this area we we left blank so we're gonna go over and cover just go over and outline where you added the this gray shade and I'm just randomly putting this white going over it and putting this white right next to this gray. And you can just blend that in with the blue. Blend it in so it won't be too crazy of a transition, you know what I mean? So lightly on the edge, just blend that in nicely. Okay, and then let's draw another line. Let's say another line just goes like this here. And then ends like that. So we're gonna do that. And grab our gray line and lightly, just lightly go over on the bottom and draw that. Okay, so now that we have that, what we're going to do is now keep adding the white. We're going to stick with the white, titanium white, and add more uh, foam, I guess you can call it. And so I'm going to grab some more white, and here in the back, I'm going to lightly just add some of these waves way, way, way in the back, lightly. All right, I'm barely touching and I'm kind of adding it randomly, you know, where I want the waves to be. But as you get closer, you obviously the waves are go going to be bigger. Where I'm adding the white also, is where I added the black, remember I, I, I outlined kind of what I did here, but doing the same idea in the back. So since now I got a couple waves going in the back, I'm gonna start adding a little wave here, remember? This will be a bigger one, so I'm gonna make a bigger one here. Maybe this one, you know, flops down like this. Like that. And then just follow it where you drew. And then another big one here, bigger one. And then do the same thing here, this one. crashing down like this. Okay. 
and then lightly just draw some ripples here Ooh. ripples and what I'm doing is I'm just with just with my water here and white and draw some of these ripples first add And the shadows where you drew these these lines, these black lines, outline them with white. Okay. Now here. This is the interesting part right here. We're gonna create like these, um, almost like diamond circular shapes, okay? Cause this is like kind of the shore. So what I'm doing is I'm actually, um, and as you go further, they become smaller and smaller. So see, I'm just kind of creating these diamond, like almost square circular shape. As you, obviously as it's, as you know, when it's close here, you make them bigger, but as you get further, make them even smaller. Okay? And just maybe even bring it out all the way to where you're. Um, where the water picks up here on the wave. So, drawing big right here, you see what I'm doing? And just kind of like randomly drawing these weird circular shapes. And then as I get further, I'm drawing less, smaller and smaller. And then you can drag this white all the way up like this. Um, stay consistent with your shapes. Very important that your shapes look the same. See, it's starting to come out. I'm actually surprised of myself. I, uh, this is really m one of my first ocean scenes. I'm painting this way. I uh, didn't have a, really didn't have a plan. I was gonna do a garden house tutorial. I know that's on the list. But my wife was like, no, just, you know, do a ocean scene. Uh, that's what patrons wanted. And I know it's uh, challenging for you, but uh, you should learn as well. And so I thought about it. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's so true. I am learning as well. So I'm happy I did it. Um, and um, I'm learning, I'm still learning. So seeing where it takes me. So yeah, so I'm adding these weird shapes because it's close you know when you when it's up close you want to start creating this uh these shapes by the beach this foamy foamy shape and then as it gets further obviously here you want them to be even bigger so um i'm gonna create like lines and light lines and these bigger shape here randomly it doesn't have to be perfect right about there so we got um, kind of the first layout and sketch now I'm gonna go over and add some you know blend some of the areas in like this white right here I want to blend some of the shades and add uh, details on them so let, let's do that now so now it's about detailing so i got the layout of the ocean how i want it to be the shapes and you can always adjust the wave and how you want it uh, to look like but we got the layout down so now i'm going to add details so 
let's go over this green shade right here that we have left over and remember this area just on top kind of like drag it down here um, and the reason why is because um, it's at the tip of the wave and so the the sun is shining through this wave and you can see this um, you know green green light green shade of the water so make sure you do that blend it you can blend it with the finger if you want the bottom part and just blend this area nicely doesn't have to be perfect but you get the idea right you get the idea so on the tip make it more green and then as you go down just make it lighter And follow the shape of the water too. Don't just draw it, like follow the shape, like feel, feel the wave coming at you. You have to feel it. You can't just like, um, you know, just randomly draw it this way and this one this way. Um, just, you have, to, you have to feel the wave. Make sure you're, you're following the wave. Very important. Now I'm gonna grab this gray and here on the bottom, just create some of these um, areas and like fade it out um, right here just because this sh to create some shadows you know some shadows and also blend it in with the finger in and this is the detailing part that's actually what takes the longest is the detailing part and you can go as detailed as you want with these ocean scenes and ripples you don't want it everywhere so just fade it out leave this nice light blue shade that we drew And then same thing here, we're gonna cover some of this um, with this um, gray, but I'm working transparent, so I'm not covering everything, just lightly um, cover these. So it won't be too, too bright. Because I think I drew them too bright in my painting. there so I'm gonna grab this gray again and add it here on the bottom kind of drag it with this and blend it in with this green that we have here You could see when you start to add these shadows and these gray lines the um, the the water starts to actually blend in nicely with everything and um, and it starts to come become more realistic and just blend some of this blue here in the back with the gray
and I'm working with a dry brush just blending it whatever color I have on my brush randomly blending it you know if it covers some of the areas and makes it a little you know like this part gray that's totally fine okay there you go so we got kind of our shadows all right now what we're gonna do is grab our detailed brush this is the kind of like finalizing the piece and adding more details so what we're gonna do is I dab my brush in the water jar and let's start with uh, white let's go over with white titanium white so dab it in your water and uh, swirl it onto your brush and then I'm gonna start from the far behind area this ocean so this line right here I'm gonna draw it more on some areas bring it down more on the top on the tip not everywhere just on the tip make make this wave stand out a little more make it bigger little bigger what I'm doing is I'm kind of like making like little circles you know making little circles first outline your your tip where you want the wave to end and then Follow. There you go. Right there. Can you make this one bigger? Let's make this more white here. See what I'm doing? See how nicely it starts to come out? Um, when you add the details and um, the shadows and you go over and add as big as the wave you want it to be I want this one to be bigger And then lightly, barely touching the canvas, adding some of this white here. Drawing lines, like little ones. Oops, too much. And then, remember how we drew here? I'm kind of drawing those, but remember, as, uh, as, you, as it goes further, they become smaller. So, then it fades out eventually, so. So that's what I'm doing, just creating these ripples lightly with water.
And here we are. Again, you can add as much detail as you want, but I showed you how I work. Just, uh, again, finalizing with everything, just a detailed brush and water and titanium white. And yeah, just go over everything. And if you need to go over it with the gray again, uh, the dark gray, and just touch up some of these areas, you can. And uh, yeah, so that's what I did here. That's the ocean scene. I hope you guys learned a lot. Please let me know what you thought down below in the comments. And thank you guys again for all the support and love. Be sure to like and subscribe and share if this was helpful. And see you guys next time. Thank you and God bless.